All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And good morning for those who have morning, and good evening for those in the evening. Um, today, as you see, we have Islam facts versus fictions. And I am not sure really if we can say that in Islam there is any kind of facts. So today we will have our Skype open, and if there is any Muslim would like to call us to show us any facts Muslim Islam mentioned, so we can see together if this is true or not. <clears throat> One of the facts Muhammad he mentioned that cats are clean and dogs are filthy, and even he claimed that if a dog is black, it is the devil. A little examination for what Muhammad said, you will notice that Muhammad is a person who is suffering from mental illness. And actually, cats can be a lot more dangerous than dogs. If you go right now and search for bite of a cat and bite of a dog, you will find that cat bites is way dangerous than dogs. So when Muhammad claimed that dogs are filthy, and even he advised the Muslims, that when you, uh, if a dog he licked your dish, just licking it like even empty dish, you have to wash it seven times. This is how bad the dog is. If we go in the hadith to see what Muhammad said, you will find Muhammad saying the following. The Messenger of Allah said, if a dog licks the vessel of any of you, let him throw the content and wash it seven times. Hmm. And actually, not only he said you wash it seven times, in different hadith he says, after you wash it seven times, you have to clean it with dust. Let us say, dirt which is very stupid because dirt is where dogs they piss anyway so you clean it seven times by water and then at the end you use dirt to clean your dish which is really proving to me that Muhammad is suffering again from mental illness now if we go and do little search let us do that in Google. We will search for cats. Um, cats bites. Let us see. All right, when we do little search, we will find the following. Right away in the top, you will see. Um, once again, the cat ignored, possibly since cats bite are less common than dogs bite but cat bites are serious problem and should not be uh, you know discarded now you can go and do search and you will see that all uh, scientific study proof that the cat mouth is way more dangerous than a dog bite because it's contain a lot more and it can cause a lot more infections bad infections 
Uh, you see, all the studies say the same. You will not find one of them is saying no. All agree that cats are more serious to cause infections, bad, bad infections, way more than dogs. Yes, dogs, their, their mouth is bigger, their, their teeth is uh, uh, bigger by size, their bite is stronger uh, due to the massive size of the dog sometimes. And the cat usually is a lot smaller. But still, the danger of the cat bite is way beyond. So why Muhammad claim that cat is clean and dogs are very filthy? Based on what? Look what Muhammad he used to do. Uh, Muhammad he confirmed that cats are not unclean and not only that Muhammad even he used to clean himself by the leftover of the water which cats play or lick with her tongue and uh, you will notice with me here Muhammad he confirmed in every hadith he mentioned that always cats are fine and they are not bad and they are not dirty and they are and they will never be any pure and um, you know we cannot compare them to dogs <clears throat> even muhammad he claimed that once you know dogs are very bad to the point uh, once an angel he came to visit him and he could not get in because he had a dog inside his house. Let us see this one. The Messenger of Allah said, Gabriel came to me and said, I came to you last night and I was prevented from entering simply because there were images at the door <coughs> which means the door of Muhammad sorry for where uh, was decorated curtain with images in the house and there was a dog in the house so order the head of the image which is in the house to be cut off so that is resemble the form of a tree order the curtain to be cut off cut up and made into two cushions or cushions spread out on which people may trade and order the dog to be turned out for sure the messenger of Allah he did all the orders of the angels <clears throat> now Muhammad he reclaimed that an angel of God his name is Jibreel he have 600 wings he could not enter a house because there is a picture in the curtain and there is a status in the house. I don't know why Muhammad have a status. And there is a little tiny dog in the house. Here we have to examine again the, men, the mental, uh, you know, the, I mean, the health mental of, of, uh, of uh, or the mental health of this man. Because when you say to me, you have an angel who is a mighty angel, who is most one of the most powerful angels of Allah, and yet you are saying to me that the angel could not enter your house because there is a tiny dog and a picture in the curtain. Obviously, Muhammad, he cannot be serious. Or we cannot take him seriously, let us say, in a better way. Obviously, Muhammad cannot be a person who is, you know, thinking uh, normally. This guy, he is either fabricating stories or he is imagining things happening to him. An angel of God, he cannot enter a place because of a dog or because of a picture. What does that mean? So now we can stop Allah to send his angels to the earth by having pictures. We have pictures everywhere. That means the angels of Allah, they cannot go anywhere these days. There is no single place in the world don't have images. Uh, 
And when you say to me that an angel of the 600 wings who can destroy nations, he is scared of a little tiny puppy. I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever I can hear. And you notice here with me that Muhammad is saying it clearly that he was that the angel he prevented from entering, prevented, which means the dog stopped him. Stop. You cannot get in. I am here. Ho ho ho. And the poor angel, he have to go all the way to the seventh galaxy in the sky because he and he went to, to Allah. He said, Allah, I cannot get in. Sorry. Why, why, angel? Why you cannot get in? Ah, there is a dog there. I don't know how Zach and Naik will explain to us the wisdom behind this and how truthful Muhammad is. I think Zach and Naik will say, but the theta. First of all, you have to know that dogs are forbidden for Muslim to have. Because, as an example, in the book of the Sunnah of Dawood, Hadith number 4158, it says that the Prophet, he spoke to the end of Jibreel. And the end of Jibreel, he told him, I came to you yesterday and I couldn't get in. And the reason I could not get in because I was prevented by a, a puppy. So puppies, what we learn from this story, puppies are very dangerous. And it's proven scientifically that puppies are very dangerous. Thank you very much. Obviously, everything the Muslim says is true. I mean, who can deny that? I mean, can you ignore how dangerous the puppy is? I mean, come on. We are not even being fair. Like we have an angel of God with 600 wings and we have a puppy. So for sure, the puppy is stronger. And for sure, the angel will retreat and go home. Like, no way, I'm not going to get in. There is a puppy here. Hmm? Uh, mentioned Muhammad became invisible, but he was seen a dog. Hmm. Muhammad, he mentioned many things about animals, by the way. Obviously, Muhammad is very smart. Um, Muhammad, he mentioned something very funny as an example about animals as long as we are talking about animals look what Muhammad he said <clears throat> Abu Huraira reported that Allah messenger say a saying when you listen to the crowing of the cock, ask Allah for his favor as it sees angels. And when you listen to the brain of a donkey, of the donkey, seek refuge in Allah from Satan, for it sees Satan. And by the way, scientifically, this is proving uh, true. Actually, I saw an article, the Muslim, they say that... Um, there is an uh, there is an animal I forgot which animal they say that he can see special uh, X-ray uh, or night vision you know like night vision, but the Muslim they forgot that their prophet he mentioned specifically the donkey and uh, the rooster. Same time, uh, as you see here, the donkey is specialized in ability of seeing Satan's. Rooster is a specialized in seeing angels And here we notice something very very strange Muhammad when he saw the angel he could not recognize if this is an angel or not Muhammad when he received satanic verses he could not he could not figure out if this is Satan or an angel Which mean Muhammad is less qualified to be a prophet than a rooster than a donkey. Why? Because as you see, a donkey, he can recognize Satan and he will scream. He says, you know, like he make the, the sound of a donkey. And a rooster is more qualified to Muhammad to recognize angels because he can do that. Muhammad cannot. Now, based on this, if we ask the Muslims, Muhammad, he get his knowledge, this fantastic knowledge about rooster, they can scan angels and donkeys, they can scan Satan's where Muhammad he got this knowledge from and why donkey can do this and why rooster can do that
Based on this, I advise all of you to have four donkeys in the corner of your houses as security measure and four roosters in the corners of your house so when an angel is coming by, you get ready. And when a shaitan is coming by, you will get ready. And obviously, this is a fact. This is not fiction. Muhammad is not making things up and he is not lying. This is all proved to be scientifically correct. The funny that Muhammad, when he saw an angel in the corner of his house, he asked his wife, she said to him, Khadija, when you see an angel again, or they are not sure if it's an angel or not, or a shaitan, when you see your friend next time, let me know. And Muhammad, he told her, okay, now I see him. So he told her second day, I see someone in the corner of the room. So supposedly there's a creature, he come and sit in the corner of the room, but he didn't talk, he didn't do anything. He just sit there like an idiot. And Muhammad do not know what this person he want, and he's not sure if he's the devil or he's an angel. So his wife now, she came with a trick. She said to him, okay, go and sit in the top of my right leg. Muhammad, he sat in her leg. She said to him, do you see him? He said, yes. She asked him to move and sit in the top of her left leg. She asked him, do you see him? He said, yes. Then she took off her clothes and she started stripping and she asked him to sit in the top of her in a sexual position. She said, do you see him? He still, he said, no. She said, glory to Allah, this is, must be an angel. Why you ask the Muslims why? How you can how 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 Khadija she was sure that this is one angel? They say because the angel is shy and this is why he left. If Shaitan, if it's Shaitan, he would like to watch porn. It's Shaitan, he likes to watch sex. Shaitan, he will sit and he will put his finger in his mouth and like mm, yummy yummy mm, okay mm, 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 uh huh uh huh uh huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Angel, he's shy. Angel, he saw the guy, he's getting, she's, his wife, she's get, taking her panty off. He said, uh-oh, oh, things is getting hot now. I better leave. So when the Muslims, they speak to us about a prophet, I don't see anything in this person to qualify even to be a person who work in the post office. This guy is mentally ill. What this guy is talking about? Donkey, he sees shaitan, and rooster, he sees angels. Not only that, I don't know if I can show you this hadith in English. Muhammad, he claimed that Allah himself, he sit in the top of a rooster. Uh, let me see if I can find the hadith in English. Have you ever heard of a god he sit in the top of a rooster? Okay, let's see. We will try to find. <clears throat> oh boy. What we will do? This is a prophet of God. If this is a prophet of God, I mean, what is, what is an idiot is about? You tell me, Abdul. Okay, hold on. Let us see. I'm just trying to find the hate in English. I have the hate in Arabic. You see, we cannot find it in English. Okay, hold on. Let us see. We try something else. <clears throat> we try something else. Look here, by the way, in this hadith, Muhammad he said that he saw he drawn about a, a, a rooster who peeked 
uh, uh, on me twice. Okay. All right, hold on. No, we can't find it. Mm. Yeah, well, the hate in Arabic, I, I have it in front of me, but the English, um, the English part, it's uh, look like mission is impossible. Let us see if we can find something else. Look here at this hadith, guys, just to show you the fun of Islam. This is not the one I'm looking for, but it's in the way. Rabi'u ibn Abdullah, blah, 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 reported that two men uh, worked two cocks and in the time of Umar, and Umar ordered that the cock to be killed. And man of the Ansar, he said to him, will you kill something which glorify Allah? So Umar left it. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Since then, the the, the Muslims don't eat uh, rooster. I mean, what what a, what what a stupid is that? I mean, Muslim Muslim they eat rooster every day. So the the rooster he worship Allah yes because Muhammad he says that. Okay, the Prophet said, do not curse the cock before it is awake for a prayer. Don't don't curse the cock. I mean, what's wrong with you? All right. Let us see. <laughs> Yeah, we saw this one. And look here, the the the, the connection between between uh, between things. What what is the connection between having doing the F thing with the with the rooster? Yahya related to me from Malik, from Abu Nadir, from 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 from. Uh, he related that he asked Aisha the wife of the prophet may allah bless him and grant him peace what made ghusl ghusl which mean i mean the muslim they are funny when they translate ghusl how in the world somebody reading this will know what ghusl mean ghusl is an arabic word why you put it there i mean translate so how you wash ghusl is something you do after sex uh when the ghusl is a must she said do you know what you are like abu salama you are like a chick when it's here the the, the cocks crow, uh, uh, crowing and so the crows with them when the circumcised part passes the circumcised part ghusl is a must i mean what this what the what the cock and the crowing what does that mean and why the muslims are asking aisha when i'm going to wash when i have sex so aisha look how filthy she is she is saying to you when your circumcised part go inside the circumcised part of the women then you have to wash but look here the connection between unbelievable let it go um, i'm trying to find maybe we can find it in english the one about Allah sitting in the top of a rooster. Yeah, it looks like we cannot find it here. Anyway, so when we talk about fictions and stupidity, I mean, Islam, all of it is based on fictions. If you, in case you don't, you know, in case you don't know, the Quran speak about a bird, which, you know, Suleiman, uh, he sent for the purpose of looking for, you know, like he's like a, this bird is a minister in the kingdom of Suleiman, and he is in charge of irrigation, and he work in the same time in the department of dating. So he find women to Suleiman, and he went in a trip to find a woman who have no hair in her legs. Oh, this website is really messed up. Nothing work in it. Too bad. Let us see. Search. Look 
look at this. In chapter 27, starting from verse number, you can actually, I advise you to read this chapter. All of it is the same as chapter 18. It's very funny. It's very stupid. It's a cartoon. It's literally cartoon. cartoon. But anyway, if you go here in this chapter, this is a chapter of fictions, the same as 18. But if you go here, starting from here, it says, And before Solomon, we marched his host. Okay, what the host is talking about, those are his army. Okay, what his army is made of? It's made of genie and men and birds. Army of genie and men and birds. So we have Captain Chicken in the army of Solomon. We have Captain Ro no, Rooster or General Rooster. And we have many other animals like the Hood Hood. Let me show you what the Hood Hood is about. Give me a second. Let us see. Oh boy. Stupidity is amazing. What we can say? Hood Hood. All right. This is the Hood Hood that I show you on the screen. This is the Hood Hood. This is the bird which Quran mentioned and claimed that this is was uh, uh, mentioned by Allah in the story of Allah in the Quran. And obviously, he's a very important figure in the, you know, in the story of uh, Solomon. As you see, Allah himself, he mentioned his story and he mentioned what this bird he did and what this bird he accomplished. So the man, every morning, he go and he check his army. And you remember, his army is contained of birds. And obviously, this kind of bird, you know, is occupying big size and number of the army of Suleiman. Uh, we don't know how many million of those birds he have, but obviously he have a lot of them. Now, but this one specifically, he was a special leader. And Suleiman, everybody, every day, he checked his army of birds and genie and the human. So in the morning he was walking by, and he noticed that this bird is not there. And obviously, he's like a general or a colonel. You know, I mean, obviously, he's very important to the point, Suleiman, he can notice that it's one bird is missing. Or maybe he's just a normal bird, but Suleiman, he have eyes, he can scan all his soldiers, and he can notice right away that this one bird is missing. I don't know how he can do that, but things happen, my friend. Things happen. So this bird, Suleiman was walking by, and he noticed that this bird is missing. So Suleiman was like, uh oh, oh no, where is he? Where is he? We better, you know, maybe you want to understand the, 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 the story here from me. We need to ask maybe Zachary Naik to explain it to you because my English is not good as his English. So Zachary Naik will say to you, Brother Tatar, once Prophet Tulaman, he went in the morning to take his sword. And every morning after he drink our coffee, he drink he take his door because he's the king. As you know, Prophet Suleiman, Allah brought him with big, big, big army. And his army, brother, it contained Dini and the human. And uh, uh, don't come me, please. Hold on. Dini and the human and the uh, 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 bird. And then he noted that one of the birds is missing. So Prophet Suleiman, he said, I swear by Allah. If this bird did not give me an excuse, I'm going to slaughter him and I'm going to make him barbecue. Yeah, barbecue, brother, break you. And now Prophet Solomon is very angry. And it's very normal. Imagine yourself, you are a king and you are one of your colonel is not there. So Prophet Solomon, he made a promise. If the bird came back and he did not give an excuse, he's going to get him and he's going to take his feather one by one. And this is very painful. Very painful. Imagine, brother, you have feather and somebody taking your feather alive. This is very, very painful. God forbid that to happen to you or to your spouse. If he is in case, in case he is a chicken. Thank you. So this is what the Quran said, literally. That Suleiman, he said, if the bird did not give 
and executes Allah is going or sorry a sorry man is going to take his feather one by one when he's alive and then he is going to slaughter him and obviously this is a true story I mean who who can say no if we go in the Quran we will find this <clears throat> And he took a muster of birds, of the birds. And he said, why, why is it I see not the hoopoo? Or his e among the abstance. You see, they take names like the army, normal army, you know, like every day. Christian Prince, I'm here, sir. Yes, sir. George, I'm here. Yes, sir. You know, like, sir, I'm here. Yes, sir. The drill sergeant is calling you one by one. I don't know if you serve in the army before. You know, the, when you go to the training, you have a drill sergeant who scream in, the, in your face. So look like here, uh, Suleiman, he is doing this drill sergeant duty every day. So he call you by name and you, you have to say, sir, yes, sir, I'm here, yes, sir. And here he noticed that this bird, this stupid bird is not there. And then look what he said. I will certainly punish him with a severe penalty or execute him unless he bring me a clear reason. Wow, man, things are getting serious. That is really, this bird now is really in trouble. Put yourself in the shoe of this bird. And you have a prophet who is given authority by God, even he have a magical ring. As you know, Suleiman, he controlled his kingdom by the ring. The, the, he is the Lord of the ring. The movie, Who Rebooter, is coming from Islam. Because Muslims believe that Suleiman, he have a ring which he controlled his kingdom. He controlled the devil, the genie, he controlled the birds. He controlled everything. And this is true, by the way. My grandfather, he used to have one. This is how he did marry my grandmother. She didn't like him. He wore the ring. Right away, she said, yes. Since then, I mean, my dad have it too. He went to my mother. He said, I want to marry you. She didn't like him. The second he put the ring, she said, yes, sure. What do you want? Whatever you want. Her father agreed. The whole family agreed. He take the ring. They say, no, we will not marry you to her. He put the ring back. Everybody says, yes, you have. we will marry you to her. What do you want? We go to grocery store, brother. This is a true story, brother. We go to grocery store. My father, brother, he buy grocery. He asked the guy, how much the grocery? He said, $200. My, my dad, he put the ring. The guy, he said, there is no money. There is no money is required. They take the sugar thing. It's yours. This is a true story, brother. Do you want me to swear by Allah by you, brother, for you? A true story. And as you see here, the story in the Quran is absolutely true story. There's no fiction here. I mean, you have to be mentally sick if you don't believe in this. Isn't it clear that this is a true story? I mean, the bird is absent and the king is walking by. And now the king is wondering if the bird will give him an excuse. Otherwise, he will take his feather one by one. If we go to the interpretation, let us see the interpretation. Hold on. Let me open the site of the interpretation. Give me a second. <clears throat> El Tafsir. All right. In the Tafsir, we will go to chapter 27. Verse number 20, just to see what this guy would do with this bird. I mean, just for the sake of education. This is the tafsir. It says here. And he reviewed the birds to see the hoopoe. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. Is it correctly? Hoop, hoop, the hoopoe? I'm not sure. Which would locate water. See, guys, I told you this guy, he is in charge of irrigation. Do you remember I told you he's in charge of irrigation? I mean, this, this bird is something. You know? this, is, <laughs> it's like a, this is like satellite in the time of a prophet Solomon, brother. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is, this is the satellite of the old days. True story, brother. 
this is this is a true story I mean I mean why in the world you will not believe in this story this bird is a very important bird and he have a job to locate water beneath the ground Brother, as you know, brother, we are Arab, and my grandfather was an Arab. And how we know, brother, that we have water somewhere, otherwise we will die. And we live in the desert, brother. So what we do? We send that bird, brother. He go fly in the sky, and he come back, and he give a picture. And then we will find out, brother, where the water is located. Brother, thank you very much. This is a true story. That's, this is knowledge. This is not fiction. This is real knowledge. So and he reviewed the bird to see the hippo, which which would locate the water beneath the ground. Beneath the ground, this guy, his bird, he can see like he don't just fly and see from far, like I accept from high. You can see what we cannot see from the ground, right? But this guy, he can see what is under the ground. I mean, this is like an X-ray. Let it go. Its location by picking at it, where upon the devils would extract it. For it that it do not see the hope of oh, me. Look at this conspiracy here. Look, things are getting more complicated. I mean, do you see what's happening here? Do you see? Do you see what's happening here? Obviously, this is true. Look, look, look at the connection. So the bird he found the location while the devils they are would extract it from it what i mean let it go true story brother this is a true story in other words look like look look the scholar now he's trying to make it i mean simple come on another word okay another word there is something preventing me from seeing him uh, What does that mean? So the man is saying there is something preventing me from seeing him or, or he is among the absent and so I cannot see him because he is absent and when he comes certainly the hope, the hope, the hope of the absence. What does that mean? I mean, this is the madness. I'm getting dizzy. I'm really, 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 I'm getting dizzy. Let's change the, the, the explanation because this guy is making me dizzy. I, I will find something smarter. Let us see this one. And he thought among the birds, he inspected the birds and he said, when he could not see the hope among them, how is that that I see not the hope in his place? You see, every bird have a place. I mean, look, look how organized his army. And by the way, brother, this is true. In the Middle East, our army is very organized. Even our bird, they don't tend location. Every bird have his number, and everybody stands in a certain way. Very true story, brother. He did not see the bird in his place. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> Is that a bird who was guarding Vladimir Putin in the front of his palace? <laughs> let it go, let it go. Let it go. Actually, if you want to see more fun stuff, you go to Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Hold on. Ibn Kathir is even, things will get will get more wild. Ibn Kathir supposedly is a smart Abdul. He tried to fix it. He's smarter than those dummy. He tried to fix it. But usually, he tried to fix it. He make it more blind as the rest of the Abdul. So if we go to Ibn Kathir, chapter 27, we go to verse number 20. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Look at this. Ibn Abbas and other that hope Hopo was an expert, expert who used to show Suleiman where the water was if he was out in the open land and needed water. That's it. 
the hoopoe would look for water for him in a various starta of the earth all the earth like the guy he fly he go to alaska hey i'm in alaska i see water here solomon come over but i'm not sure why it is a lot of snow here just as a man look at things on the surface of the earth and he would know just how far below the surface the water was when the hoopoe showed him where the water was solomon would command the jinn dig dig dum bing dum gum bingo dum bingo the jinn is digging now so the bird he says here here there's water here and then Suleiman he said genie dig here and the genie and the shaitan they start digging boing and they try they they don't stop until they get the water so Suleiman would command the jinn to dig in that place until they throw uh, throw the water from the depth of the earth one day one day one day guys I was walking down street walking down the street la 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 one day one day me and you telling me that islam is not from god what's wrong with you you enjoy hori butter you enjoy mickey mouse you enjoy the 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 parrot of the caribbean why you cannot enjoy the quran brother why you cannot enjoy the quran brother hypocrite so one day Suleiman he went to some open land and checked on the birds but he could not see the hoopoe Suleiman said what is matter what is matter brother put yourself in the shoes of Suleiman and you'll find one of your birds is missing and he is a specialist and expert in finding water that's very serious problem I mean brother remember we are living in the Middle East brother and this bird an expert of water maybe the KGB or maybe the CIA assassinate him so we will not have water Hmm. All right. Here we see uh, someone questioning this issue. So he said, Ibn Abbas said, Why Nafi said, You are telling me, telling us that the hoopoe can see water beneath the underground? But any boy can put seed in the trap and cover the trap with dirt and the hoopoe will not come to take the seed. <laughs> this is a smart Arab getting Muhammad busted. Did you notice, guys, what the guy he said? Did you notice what happened? Muhammad and his story got busted. Okay, if this bird can see the water under the ground, so then how come a little kid he can put some seed under, like to make a trap, you know, for for the uh, for the hoopoe and the, you know he to to, to catch him, and uh, uh, you know so the boy can catch him in the trap. Ibn Abbas said, if it was not for the fact. I like it when they say fact. When the Muslims say fact, it means it's absolutely true that this man would go and tell others that he had defeated Ibn Abbas <laughs> in argument. I would not even answer. Then he said to Nafi, Who oh, you? When the degree strike a person, his eyes become blind and he lose all caution. Nafi said, by Allah, 
I will never dispute with you concerning anything in the Quran. <laughs> I scared the guy. <laughs> He scared the hell of the guy because he got him busted. He got Allah busted. He got Muhammad busted. He got the Quran busted. And as you see, they agree that the guy, he defeated Ibn Abbas in his argument. I swear by Allah, I will never argue with you again. Okay. <laughs> he threatened him that Allah will make him blind because he said that. You cannot argue, brother. Brother, are you crazy, brother? You cannot argue. What's wrong with you? Let us continue. So here we go back to where Suleiman he said, I will punish him. I sure I will surely punish him. Who the bird with severe torment? Al am 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 said narrating from in etc. etc. from Ibn Abbas, he said, meant he meant what he meant by torturing him, he meant by blacking his feather. One by one. <laughs> oh boy. And you are telling me that Muhammad is not a prophet. What's wrong with you? I mean, seriously, you probably you people have a mental illness. You have an issue, my friend. Come on, look at this. And not only that, look what Suleiman is even planning. He is planning to block his feather, blocking his feather one by one, and then he is going to expose him to the sun. <laughs> oh boy. Then again, then again, then again, then 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 again, then again, then again, then 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 again, then again, then again, then 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 again, then again, then again. You have it truly, truly to be certified donkey to accept such a story. I mean, imagine you are a bird, and now they take your feather and they put you in the beach, and you are doing a suntan, and you have no cream to put on your skin. I mean, come on, this is too much. And the torture plan of the Muslims and the imagination continue. It did not stop with putting him under the sun. No, look what it says. And this is, was also the view of more than one Salaf, which means those, you know, Orthodox Muslims, the Orthodox, the conservative Muslims, that it's mean blacking his feathers and leaving him exposed to be eaten by ants. Which mean that's scary. I mean, obviously, the second the bird he don't have feather, the ants will eat him. That's normal, actually. In the Middle East, always this has happened. I once I remember that I have a friend who is he was a he was a rooster. You know, he took off his feather and he left them in the in the shower. And then when he came out, the ant ate him. That's I saw and saw it on my eyes. True story. <laughs> Should we continue? Guys, if we continue, all of Islam is like this. It's a chain of garbage. It's a chain, and you will you will notice here if you are a Muslim reading this in the mosque, the Muslim he will be so serious, like, wow oh, man. Oof, wow, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah, 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 I'm a Muslim and I am not a rooster. Alhamdulillah, the Kbir, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> be serious, be serious. How you cannot, I mean, how you can, how, until now you guys, you did not convert to Islam, what's wrong with you? Can't you see the amazing scientific facts? You see, you go in other religions, you see fictions. Islam is the religion of facts. This is a true story. 
absolutely true story the Quran mentioned it the explanation confirming it so we have double confirmation now by Allah and his prophet and the companion be Allah bless them <sighs> I don't know. I don't know why until now you guys you did not convert to Islam. And then Prophet Suleiman he said, or I will slaughter him. So this is like you know, he wanna take his feather, he wanna make the ant eat him, he will make the sun uh, burn him, and then he will slaughter him. Unless he bring me a clear reason, a valid excuse. Suleiman said that when the hope hope came back. Uh -huh, the guy is coming back. Look what he said. He said, Suleiman said to him, What kept you? What kept you? Huh? I will shed your blood. Suleiman will shed your blood. The birds, they told him, his friends, you know, like he came back. He said, where you been? You idiot, where you been? Brother Tata, when the bird came back, he had a friend, I mean, you know, that you have a co-worker, brother. The bird, they said to the brother, to the hobo, where you been? Suleiman, he was here that five minutes ago. And he had the question, where are you? And he said, he's going to break up his feather and he would go to slaughter you. Uh-oh. The birds, they told the bird who was missing, who was absent. Hmm. The hope hope said, did he make any exception? Did he say unless? Look, look. They said, yes, he said. Wow. And here like you have, okay. I feel better now. He said, unless. Okay. So he will not kill me unless. Okay. Okay. It's better. Things is better now. <laughs> And then they said to him, he said that surely they will punish him with severe treatment and slaughter him unless he bring me a clear reason, which means an excuse. Then the bird, he said, I am saved then. Oof, oof. Look how confident he is. After he heard this, that if you bring me a clear excuse, I am saved. So the guy, he feel better. Okay. I mean, obviously I am saved then. There's no problem. All right. Hmm. Okay, do we have any Muslim have any comment? Shall we continue? The problem is if we continue, we will not finish in the coming 100 years reading such a stupid donkey's stories. This is what Islam is about, my friend. This is what is Islam. They lie to you. They say Islam is about science. They say all is nothing but a fabrication. Islam is the biggest fat lie you can imagine. It does not even fit with the children in the age of six years old. Once I remember I was talking to a very smart girl. Actually, she's very smart. I think she was like, I don't know, seven or maybe six. So I thought like she's a she's a little kid and she will you know she will let it go. So I told her, okay, let us go. I'm going to bring the broom and we can fly together. She looked at me, she said, Are you stupid or what? <laughs> I said, Why? She said, This is only in the cartoon. This is not a true. I said, really? She said, Yeah, this is a cartoon. This is not a true. Said, oh, okay. I thought it's true. I said, no. Okay, I will bring you the the, the broom. <laughs> Even little kid, you know, a child, female child, she could not believe in such a garbage. And Muhammad is making a billion a human being, worshiping him and praising him with all the stupidity he have. And the Muslim, they say to you, Quran is a miracle. Obviously, it is. It is a miracle to make a billion a human being believe in such a stupid book. 
Oh boy. There's no Abdul today. Guys, it's early morning here. I have some work to do. So I can't stay longer, but I think we cover a good part. I will try to do another broadcast afternoon. I hope so. But in case not, please download the video and share it around. Let everybody see with the proofs and reference that Islam is nothing but a stupid cult. It does not qualify to be even cartoon for adult. It does not be qualified. I mean, you can take it as a fiction story for fun, maybe. For comedy, maybe. But to be a book of God, you have to be seriously suffering from mental illness to believe in such a garbage. There's no way that here God is exists in such a book. Quran is officially a comedy for stupid ones who have a slow-minded brain. Very slow. No person who have, I mean, the size of a bird brain will accept this. I wonder how in the world a Muslim can believe in such a garbage. This is a question. I think we will hear the answer about it from those Muslim who they will watch this video and they will leave a comment underneath. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you are a Muslim, leave your comment. We don't delete your comment unless you are very using very dirty, dirty language. So leave your comment and tell me what do you think about what you saw from the Quran and we add it to the Quran, which is fiction book, your interpretation based on your prophet and the hadith. Leave your comment and let us see who is here the fool, you or your prophet. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon.